Hi guys, it's Jessica here. <laughs> okay, so box opening. Uh, this is my, um, where are they? Let me get closer. Okay. This is my um, Mary Doll Round Olaf uh, in cookie skin. And I talked a lot about the character um, that this is going to be uh, in a video last week. Uh, I bought this second hand from a girl off of Denna Angels. And so I can see this is the original shipping box because I can see this came from Nuria Tora Soto in Spain. Um, so the person I bought it from she was the original owner of this. Uh, so as I as I had, I'll just start opening. I want to make sure that there's no uh, addresses showing. But uh, I had been thinking that maybe I would wait for the Petrocor body, um, but it was the Corumbi body. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's the Corumbi body that is. The one that, so I don't want to turn this box around so that you guys can see addresses. But it's the Corumbi body that uh, that fits my character better. So uh, that character is Caribou Woman based on a Inuit mythology. And a little bit of Deer Woman from Chukata and Cherokee mythology. Um, oh, look it. Let's see, she wrapped this very well. It's a merry go round. So we have the screen. Olive is right here, chewing on her bone. I gave her bones and toys. Thank you for giving Olaf the new home. I enclosed some items I had purchased for her. I hope you love her. Aww. Oh, well. So here's the certificate of authenticity. Oh, it's so pretty too. April 2016. This doll has been sculpted by Mary Doll Round and casted by Fantasy Doll. It has been subjected, subjected to quality control to offer a 100% original and well-finished final piece. These are pretty. Oh, these are Ursa Flora. Ursa Flora Sapphire. These are really pretty. And I um I think I'm gonna go ahead and order her some Mako eyes. Um oh, pretty these little cards. Uh because Mako Mako is open again. Um if you weren't aware. Uh, Mako website is open. I discovered that last night and so I placed an order for some eyes for Amergen. Actually, should, this is so cute! Pineapple. Um, for Amergen, my Veneto, uh, and 
I think they're $25, uh, which is great for the quality of the eyes. And the shipping, you guys, the shipping was $1.53, <laughs> if you can believe that. So, uh, and then I know somebody who just got their eyes and it took a week. So six weeks to make, but a week to ship. So $1.53 for a week. Oh, I want to see her face. So she, um, she's coming with a Darjeeling Aesthetics face up and oh, it's very pretty oh. and it it is very very gorgeous um it's not what i had in mind exactly for the character And so I eventually I may alter this once I build up the <laughs> it's because it's really pretty. It's definitely really pretty. Oh, did you lose interest in your bone already? Here, oh here, here's your bone. No, oh, you opened it all. I wanna come see it. Just two divorce. No, honey. No, this is not for bulldogs. This is not for bulldogs. Here, that's for bulldogs. No, it's not for bulldogs. She's very, very well wrapped. No, no licking the box. No. Oh, it's very interesting. Oh, it's very interesting. <laughs> Goodbye, Olive. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's very well wrapped. <laughs> I love, um, I love that sound that resin makes, like resin on resin sound. I love it. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. Oh, you guys can see her. Oh, yeah, she's very, uh, she's very stuck. Hi guys. Olive. <laughs> Olive was being very relentless. Um, usually I can distract her with some toys, but she wasn't having it. So I gave up and I've moved up here uh, on the desk. Um, out of dog's reach uh but um and i'd run out of room on my phone so i had to download some stuff so i'm looking for um or trying out some different eyes and i um the ones that i actually like the best uh, in her are these um they're enzo eyes i i love enzo eyes i i buy enzo eyes every chance i can so i wish that these were blue um, or brown. They're pink because that's my favorite is pink eyes. Hello, my name is Jessica and I have a problem. I buy 
pink eyes. <laughs> so a lot of my characters have pink eyes and a lot of them are supposed to, but there's a lot of characters or dolls wearing pink eyes right now, um, simply because that's what I had the most of in every size imaginable. So everybody has a pair of pink eyes, whether they want it or not. So um, I'm going to put these in her because I do think they look really pretty. I don't know if you can see that from there. Uh, but um, these are these are Enzo eyes. They're actually 14 millimeter, which and they seem to fit in her eye well perfectly. Uh, but um, let's see. These are where did they go? These are these are the um, 14 millimeter Ursaflora eyes that uh, a seller sent along with her. And let's see. I will. Can you even see that? But see how they're blue. You can't really catch it. See how huge the pu the iris is. Um, like it just takes up the whole eye because she actually has her eyes are her eye wells big, but her eyes themselves are a bit small. Um, so I think she's she's the kind of doll that especially needs uh, these small iris eyes uh, and these Enzo eyes. I measured it. I measured the iris. I'm getting about five millimeters. So yeah, she has a 14 millimeter eye well, but these smaller uh, these smaller irises look way better. That looks. I think that that looks way better. Doesn't that look nice? Sorry, the lighting's terrible over here. I'm kind of in this corner. And, um, I wonder what the size on these is. I can't find my calipers. Uh, calipers, I do have a pair somewhere. Uh, so I'm getting about, these are big. Um, eight, maybe eight millimeters. Um, so that's like, a, that would be considered like a standard, more of a standard type of 14 millimeter iris size. So eight or nine millimeters versus five millimeters uh, on the iris. So it makes a big difference. I'm really liking these. Uh, so, Bessia, <laughs> please make me some uh, brown, gold, um, 14 millimeter eyes with a 5 millimeter iris, if she's listening. <laughs> That's my little silent pr prayer to her. I'm not so silent. Um, but I shouldn't tell you guys so much about her eyes because I want them all for myself. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, okay, here we go. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, I love that. So, I don't know. Maybe I will still try to roll, order her. I think this eye's a little crooked, isn't it? A pair of, uh, Mako eyes. But, uh, so that's the, with the small iris sizes, it's really tricky to get the eyes positioned and not have a, them look wonky. I think that's a lot better. And looking at them reversed or in a mirror does help. I think that that's pretty even. She's so pretty. Uh, I don't have anything for her. I have nothing. Um, her wig, uh, I got her a, a wig from Monique. It's a Monique wig from Monique Trading Company, and um, they have cheaper prices. Uh, they're kind of like wholesale prices. So, but it does take it takes a couple of weeks um, to get to get the order. So she's going to be 
Maybe I can find some things to put her in. She's so pretty. And I just love, I just love her stocky body. Look at this. Look at her body. I have to show you. She stands great. She just, you just plop her down and she stands. Uh, and this body, let's see, let me move her back here. <laughs> so this, this stocky body is for the character of Caribou Woman, um, who I would think of as a Native American, but more, I'm thinking of her more like the Northern tribes, um, the Inuit or the, the Eskimos, which is kind of a white man term, but um, just this real stocky build, um, a little bit thick. Um, uh, her hands are gorgeous. And her, one of the things that I noticed right away was just positioning her head in different positions. Like she doesn't have any swaying. Nope. She has no swaying and her head just holds any position. She has a lot of mobility. Am I totally off the screen? Um, so I noticed that right away, how well she holds whatever pose you put her head into. Uh, and pretty much with her, with her arms too and her wrists, she's very solid. Uh, her legs are, they are very thick. Um, and one of the things that I, like she doesn't, she doesn't have a lot of thigh, <laughs> is that she can't like put her legs together this way. They, they stay like this. Um, and I noticed that but it's part of her, a bit of her stockiness, which, which I like. Uh, but that leg is pretty heavy and not suited or anything. Like it falls down a little. So I'm pretty impressed. She's solid, guys. She is, this is a solid Okay, lead. I'm back. Um, I've spent some time trying on some clothes and eyes and wigs um, that I had. And right now she is wearing a, um, this is a really dark brown, almost black uh, short wig. And I'm actually, this worries me a little bit because this is a size eight, nine, and it's a, it's a bit big for her. Like it really slides around on her head. Um, so the one that I ordered for her is that same size. So I'm really hoping it's going to fit her okay. But she's, I actually really like her in this outfit a lot. Uh, it's a plaid fan, uh, flannel shirt and I really like the buttons on this shirt. This is one that I got, I think I got this from Denver Dolls. And the tank top is an SD guys tank top, so it's a bit big on her. Um, and then she's wearing some, these are guys jeans, 60 centimeter guys jeans. So they actually fit her really good because she is, um, she's so, like she doesn't, she does have a waist, but she's, you can see she really, she's so curvy. I like that. I love that. Um, she's very thick, like she fills these jeans in. And, and then I have these, um, these were actually, I got these ages ago. These are some leather, um, they, they were keychain, uh, here's, here's, I have another pair of them here. They're actually keychains. Um, Minnetonka is a, they make moccasins for people modern day. And these were some keychains that I got. Um, I actually got them online. And I don't know if they still have those available. It was like, that was got, that's gotta have been a year ago now that I got these. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gotta be a long time. But uh, they, uh, I got them initially for, sorry, like my, where are we in the camera? Um, I got them because, uh, I, who was that? Oh, it was Libby, uh, Libatious, Libatious One. Um, she had found these 
uh, and I got them because I wanted them for MSD dolls and they were always too big um, for my MSD dolls anyways. Um, and they didn't fit her at first. I did have to do a little bit of surgery on them because they had this foam pad in them and I'm like, well, she doesn't need that. She doesn't actually have to walk in these shoes. <laughs> and I took out this leather part where the keychain hooks up to. So um, did some surgery and they actually fit pretty good. She has such, she has really small feet. They're, they're very, really, um, they're not very long feet. They're short feet and they're very blocky. So she has very, very blocky feet. Um, very short, blo small blocky uh, but feet. I think, I think she looks pretty cute. I'm, uh, I'm liking her. At least she has something to wear, um, for now instead of being naked. <laughs> so I'm glad that I was able to find a few things for her to wear. And I, and I actually do like the idea of her wearing some modern clothes. I think she has reasons to pull that off. Um, so hmm. her name is Caribou Woman. Uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned that. I would like to make her uh, a headdress um, with caribou antlers and uh, I might do that as a headband like I did with Laundria or I might um, make them with ma like magnets that stick to her wig or something along those lines. Um, I did see, I can't remember now who it was, somebody had a pair of Sum antlers. They were, they were, I think that they said that they were the, oh, it was Sark. Uh, it was Sark that I saw. She had some caribou antlers that, su that were made by Sum, and I... I don't know if it was it must have been some sort of special event or something. I looked everywhere trying to find like even just a picture on the Zoom website of these reindeer antlers, um, and I couldn't find anything. So if anybody knows more about that, let me know. I certainly I think I would definitely be interested in trying to get a pair. Um, probably eventually, what I'll do here is I I'll, I will sculpt some and. Maybe see if I can get my friend Miss Mantis to cast those for me because resin is so much lighter than anything I could make with polymer clay. Um, but uh, yeah, if anybody knows anything about those Zoom Christmas reindeer antlers, um, about those or what they're even called or what the official thing is so that I can do a sales. Um, like, hey, I'm looking for this sort of thing. So um, I think, look at her butt, it's so cute. Look at her butt in these jeans. I love it. They're thick thighs. <laughs> so I really like her a lot. I've just been sitting here just kind of playing with her. And I really like her. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.